I don't want to alarm you, but it's come to my attention that the person sitting to your right is a liar. Oh, and the person sitting to your left, they haven't been telling the truth. And probably most alarming is that the person sitting in your seat has been bending reality and probably wouldn't even pass a polygraph test. You see, we're all liars. We all lie to ourselves every day. We lie about our capabilities. We lie about our enoughness. We lie about what we think is possible. And one of the lies that we tell ourselves, see if this resonates, because I'm going to have you fill in the blank. We tell ourselves, you know what, if only I do this, fill in the blank for you, then I'll be perfect. And my relationships will be perfect. And we'll all live happily ever after. That's a lie. I am Michelle Fournier. I am a master life coach and a possibilitarian. So I have helped thousands of women over the last 20 years release their authentic badass and create a life that makes their heart sing. I'm an author in Freeing Godiva, A Woman's Journey to Self-Empowerment. And in that book, I wrote about a time in my life it was actually the darkest time in my life where everything I knew as a career and a relationship that I thought was gonna last forever totally fell apart. And I turned that dark time into a path of empowerment and a path that has led me to where I am today, where I'm living a life that I absolutely love living and that makes my heart sing. And I am a badass. <laughs> I'm an Army veteran of 24 years. I actually jumped out of perfectly good airplanes just to prove that I was enough. Even though I had no idea what I was doing at the Army Airborne Jump School when I showed up. In fact, I'm living proof that you don't have to know what you're doing or how you're doing it, and you can do it anyway. So today I'm going to share with you the Fournier formula on how to release your authentic badass and create a life that makes your heart sing. But first, I'm going to tell you the truth. After all, the truth will set you free, but it'll probably piss you off first. So here's the first truth. Your reality is in your mind. Your reality is in your mind. All of your relationships happen in your mind. In fact, circumstances, every circumstance in relationship is all in your mind. It's only what you think it is. So you have an unconscious mind, we all do. And our unconscious mind houses one of its many jobs is to house and take care of our internal belief systems so that we get to be right about who we are. So all of our successes, all of our self-sabotage is from our internal belief systems, what we think and the evidence that we're gathering. There were studies that were done many years ago, so the numbers I'm about to share with you are a little bit conservative. However, we receive through our senses over 2 million bits per second of data. 2 million bits per second of data. And the interesting thing, and again, these studies were done well before we had all of this technology. Out of that 2 million bits per second of data, we extract 126. 126 to validate all the information that we believe to validate what we think about ourselves. 
Because the truth is, from the time we were very little, well before we were even two years of age, so for those of you that have children or grandchildren, it may or may not be too late. We decide how the world works and our place in the world. And then again, we gather data so that we can be right. So I don't know about you, have you ever been in an argument? Oh wait, a robust discussion <laughs> with somebody who's really important to you and you've taken your 126 and he or she has taken their 126 and there's no overlap. So what are you both doing? You're fighting to be right. Here's the irony, you're both right based on your perspective, based on the 126 that you took to validate your view of the world and your place in it. So you want a quick and easy tip on how to navigate from that place? Here's what I started doing with my analyst boyfriend. Hey honey, we're both right. Where do we go from here? The second truth is you create your results. We all do. So if you look around your life and you look at all the things that are working, congratulations, you created that. And now I invite you to look at all the things in your life that aren't working. Congratulations, you created that too. Whatever we think about, we bring about. To think is to create. Everything is first a thought before it's a reality. And so the good news about this is that if you are willing to be at cause and to acknowledge that you create everything in your life, that can operate as a power platform for you. It's really a place of empowerment, is it not? Because anything that you created that you really love well, you know how to do that so you can create some more. And anything you've created that you don't really love so much, well, since you created that, go ahead and create something different. It's up to you. You have the power. So let me ask you this. What have you been creating evidence for in your life? I wanna ask you, what is it? What are the thoughts that you've been nursing and rehearsing over and over again are you telling yourself how this is hard? There's not enough money. Being sexy is for other people. True love, that happens to them, not to me. You see, your thoughts create your reality. What you think about, you bring about. So your thoughts create your reality, as I mentioned before. And so just notice your thoughts. Notice the words that are coming out of your mouth. What is the fake news that you've been telling yourself? And what is the fake news that you're telling other people about yourself? Because one of the truths is that we would never let other people talk to our loved ones the way that we sometimes talk to ourselves. So now let me share with you a little bit about the Fournier formula on how to release your authentic badass. So the first thing is you gotta release that fake news. Release the fake news. Again, what are you telling other people? So one of the things that I do as a master practitioner in neuro-linguistic programming and mental and emotional release is I help people eliminate self-sabotaging behaviors and limiting beliefs. And I do it easily and simply in two short sessions that are about four and a half hours each. You don't have to relive your trauma. There is no remission. And once we've released that, then we repattern. We fill that void with power thoughts, with beliefs that are empowering, 
we make so much shit up in this world, right? So if you're gonna make up something, make up something good. Come on, you're in charge of your thoughts. How many controllers do I have out there? Yep, you wanna be in control? Here's one of the two things that you're in control of, and that's your thoughts. You control what thoughts you hold on to. Now, the second step in the Fournier formula is to create a badass, compelling future for your life. How many of you are living a life that somebody else designed for you? I did for many years. My, I knew I wanted to be a teacher from the time I was 10 years old, and my dad said, nope, you want to be a doctor. So when you grow up and you get married and you have four children and the SOB leaves you, you'll be able to take care of your kids. Yeah, somebody's given us fake news if it's not us. So do you know that more people, do you know that most people spend more time planning a vacation or a wedding than they ever do a vision for their life? So if you're stuck, here's why. Do you have a clear picture of where you're going? And oh, by the way, when you say, I don't know what my purpose is, I don't know where I want to go, ask yourself, what would I love? What would I love? And lean into that. Because if you're going to be here with your life force breathing every day, you might as well be doing something that is calling forth from you. Create a vision that's compelling for you, that's gonna get you out of bed in the morning. And oh, by the way, for those of you that are perfectionists, that need to have a perfect plan, here's the deal. Everything you want isn't here, it's out there. It's outside of your comfort zone. It's outside of your familiar zone is what I call it because I haven't, I've yet to meet someone whose comfort zone is comfortable. Everything you want is out of there out of the familiar zone, so you gotta step out. Which brings me to my next step in the Fournier formula. The power of Goya, G-O-Y-A. Get off your assets. You gotta take action, massive and perfect action. One step from where you are right now with what you have. That's all you need. You have everything you need. You are resourced. You got to set boundaries. You got to be your badass. You don't find a badass on the couch. A badass shows up every day, even when she doesn't want to. A badass speaks up. A badass dances when everybody is watching. <laughs> Right? It's my dance. A badass is willing to speak her truth and ask for what she wants. So the last step of the Fournier formula is stay focused on what you want. Stay focused on what you want. Again, you're in charge of your thoughts. Do you know that 90% of what we worry about never comes to happen? And what we worry about and what we're anxious about, it's all made up. Did I already mention, if you're gonna make something up, make up something good, because you're worth it. You are a divine being. You are unique. The world needs you. You are required. So the best gift that I can offer you today is as only a life coach can do an invitation for accountability. So I want you to just be with yourself for just a moment as I ask this question and listen to what comes. What would you love? What would you love? So first of all, are you willing to release your authentic badass? And if you are, Write that down, and by when? Put a date. When are you gonna release it? Now you can wait until next week, or maybe you could do it now. 
What are you waiting for? Oh, yeah, that's right, you. Show up. And what is one step that you can take from where you are right now with what you have? One step, what came to you, write that down too, and by when. The world is waiting on you. I am so excited for you to meet your authentic badass. Mm -hmm. And when you meet her, you send me a picture. Thank you.